Well, hey everybody, it's Monday, it's time to shave. If you couldn't tell, I didn't really shave yesterday. I think I shaved Saturday morning, but we had a long baseball tournament weekend. I was out at the fields for 12 hours on Saturday and they made us wear uh, the full baseball uniform. Normally coaches don't have to wear the pants, you know, and the jerseys. We wear the jerseys and the hats, but we wear shorts while they made us wear the, the leggings and the socks and the... <laughs> so let me show you a picture of me decked out in my coach dad uniform from this weekend, including, check these out, check out the cleats on my feet. Vintage 1980s Mizuno cleats. If you ever watched baseball in the 70s and 80s, you know these flap shoes. There's a big flap on the front. Anyway, check this out. Have a laugh. Let's come back and shave, all right? Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm glad, I, uh, I'm glad I've been losing weight over the past year because I wouldn't want to try that outfit on uh, where I was. Okay, so let's shave today. I got a, got a, we, it's, it's one of those summer times, so we got a lot of honeydew list stuff going. Got the Terminix guy coming over. Got a, we saw a couple of roaches in the house. It's, anyway, that, that shouldn't interest you. Let's just shave, shall we? I got the old 1960 Gillette twist to open. What do they call that? The super speed? Something like that? I don't even know. Doesn't matter. 1960. <laughs> Twist to open. And we're going to use a feather blade in it, of course. This thing looks like it was made yesterday. I don't even remember where I got it. I don't know if someone sent it to me or if I purchased it off eBay. These things are pretty cheap on eBay if you can get them. You know, maybe 20 bucks. So if you want to try out a vintage razor, look for these old twist opens, like the red ones and the blue ones. And the, this one's a silver one. There you go. Learn all about that. Now, we're going to lather up because I haven't shaved. I've got a bunch of whiskers up here. We're going to use some tabac shaving stick or rasier safe and uh, savon du rassage. I don't, know, I don't speak German, but I can pronounce French. So what I'm going to do is wet my face, stick it up here. I took a shower. I did my hair. And then we'll lather up and we'll shave. And then I'll get on with my busy day. I had to take the car in to get it fixed because the alternator, oh, man. That was another whole thing that we... Did I talk about that on Friday? I had to take the car and get the alternator replaced. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, the prices they charge. <sighs> anyway, okay. Between that and the gas everywhere. My goodness. Things are tough all over, huh, folks? So, if you didn't know, or if you did, you probably did. I'm going to talk to you like you know. I'm going to talk to you like you're in on it. Got the old shaving stick tabac. It's one of those classic old school fragrances, one of those classic old school brands, been around forever, made in Germany, Maurer and Wurz Beauty. There you go. Find, so if you find some of that, try it out, it's not bad. Where should I put it? Oh yeah, put it down here. I don't know why I'm cleaning up now, I should just do this afterward. Where did I have that? Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, he's just digging around in his drawers. Now, look, you can really see the uh, the soap on there. Going to use the old, uh, what is it? Where the, where the solar flare from Phoenix Shaving. I love this one, just so 70s. And we're going to lather up. Mm, oh, God, I'm flinging water everywhere. Oh, I got my little toy. I got some show and tell that I haven't talked about and I haven't shown it in, in many, many years since I bought it. This little toy shaving set from Hasbro in the 60s. And it's a vintage... Uh, safety razor shaving set with a brush in it and it's got a little mug and it's got a little soap that I think is real soap. I might be able to open the sucker up and see if it'll lather. And it won't shave because it's made out of plastic, but I'll show that to you in a minute. And it, well, you saw it in the thumbnail probably. If I remember to put it up there. That's my problem. Have you ever done that? Or you think of something? Okay. You think of something. It's like, i got to go in there into that room, get that thing, bring it back here. So you get up, you walk into that room, you start seeing other things in the room and you totally forget why you came in. Ugh. So, if I didn't put the uh, the thumbnail up with a picture of the toy, that's why. I'm a dumb dumb. All right. Sorry about that. Back again. I totally forgot to show the little toy that was in the... Uh... Remember how I said you could walk into a room? Have I said in this video yet and forget what you're going to do? And totally forgot what I was going to do. Talk about this little Hasbro shaving set. Look at this thing. It's got a safety razor that's a twist to open. You just twist the bottom. It's got a little shaving mug and a little shaving brush. Fake little razor blades and a little puck that I believe is actually soap. Look at that kid. He's having a great time. Hey, everybody. It's 1967. Woo. <laughs> Hasbro. 
Featuring safe, new twist open razor and plastic blade dispenser. Twist the handle to open. Feed safe plastic blades from the dispenser. Isn't that cool? On the back is what it looks like. So I'm tempted to kind of take this little thing out and see if it'll uh, lather up and just play with the whole set. But I also kind of like the way it looks just as is, you know? I mean, how many of these things are in the world in this condition? I don't know. Yeah, it'll show and tell. Meaningless, meaningless show and tell. Yes, I have a shirt on. Don't mention it. All right, back to the uh, shave at hand. <clears throat> so let's shave. We got the old brand new almost looking 1960 Super Speed from Gillette. I believe that's what it's called. Gosh, I, I'm, I'm having a, a, a brain fart moment right now. These, uh, the silver ones are the mild ones from what I understand, mild razors. The red ones are the most uh, aggressive, obviously, because they dip them in real human blood. Not really. God, I'm acting weird today. I must have ingested some of those pest control chemicals. Now, that was what was great. Um, we, we don't have too many uh, pest problems here in our house. Uh, growing up in Houston, constant, you know, cockroaches, giant cockroaches or water bugs, wherever, you, wherever you're from. But I'm talking about the big suckers. I'm talking like that big, you know. I mean, serious. You wake up in the middle of the night, go to the kitchen, and three of them scatter. It's like, oh, I hate that. So, I know what, what it's like to live in a house with roaches. I've done it plenty of times. Oh, by the way, do you see this little slit on my nose? Accidentally. Got that one. It's hard to stop. Anyway. So we had pest control for a number of years, and then when we started having kids, we're like, we don't know if it's you know safe to have them keep coming with the kids crawling around, putting things in their mouth, and so it's kind of expensive, you know. You got every four months they have to come and put down a treatment, you know. It's like, oh, I mean, we're not made of money. <laughs> we're still not made of money, believe me. But over the past six months, when I started seeing those giant cockroaches show up in our house for not really the first time, but on a consistent basis. And then they were in the kid's room. Oh, man. I was like, all right, we got to do something about this. Because I can't, I, I refuse to go back to living like that. And uh, so we're just going to have to bite the bullet and find room in our budget to, to pay for that. Because there is something to be said about peace of mind in your own home. You know, you don't want to be walking on eggshells worried about that stuff. And it may not bother you. You may be like, ah, psh, big deal, it's a roach, but there's something about those. I don't mind spiders or, you know, we've got a tarantula downstairs, and if I see spiders, I'll put them outside, you know, because I don't feel like they're trying to do me any harm, but I feel like those dang roaches are just there just to make your day more annoying and disgusting. I'd love to say a cuss word about those roaches right now, but I'm not gonna, because this is a family-friendly channel. Of course... I don't know too many families that watch, you know, a 51-year-old shirtless guy shave, but hey, if you do, more power to you. I'm glad you're here. All right, so there's the first pass. This tobacco smells great. It's just, just classic. You know, it doesn't get in the way. It doesn't stand out too much. It's just enough. Let you know that it's a shaving soap. Like, it's an old-school, old-world classic scent. You know, it's just one of those ones. And it's probably like... Was it Parasso? No. Yeah, maybe like that even, you know? Uh, or some other, uh, what's the other one that I hated that stunk so bad that I threw away? I can't, I'm having, like I said, brain fart moment. My brain is not working right now. But anywho, oh man, okay, one more bug story. When I was um, just out of college, my friend and I were looking for an apartment and we went over and we eventually did stay in this apartment. I think we were kind of desperate <laughs> and on the inspection, you know, when you go through and they show you the apartment, oh, I went into the kitchen and opened up the, 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 the cabinets and they were full of hundreds of baby roaches everywhere. I'm like, it was a nightmare. It just it was like, oh my God. So it's just gross. You know, it's just disgusting and germs and all that stuff. I'm not germ food by any standard, but those things, knowing that they're crawling around when you're asleep, no thanks. No thanks. So I hope if you're having similar problems, I hope you can get yours taken care of as well. So between that, the car repair bill, gas prices, ugh, and air, it's, it's going to be, if you follow me on Instagram, go check me out at, at Sinatra Lennon. I posted a screenshot of my Apple weather app 
for the next 10 days and it's above 100 degrees Fahrenheit every day, 102, 103, 105, 102, 103, you know, all that stuff. So with that, then we're cranking on the air conditioning in the house. I don't know. It's like you're hemorrhaging money, you know? Oh yes, that's what I was gonna say. It has nothing to do with bugs, it has something to do with the, the exterminator. So back when we had kids, this was, you know, over a decade ago now, uh, wife was in the hospital with the firstborn child and, you know, I'm up there spending the night on the couch in the room, you know, all that good stuff. And, and then I took a break in the middle of the day to come home and take a shower and change clothes. If, if you're a father, if you've ever gone through that, you know what I'm talking about. Sleeping in those hospital rooms when the nurses come in every hour or so to check on you and wake you both up. And <laughs> so I was like, okay, got to get away from the hospital. Just get back to normal, normalcy, normality. Yeah, whatever. Second pass, let's shave a third. Let's see how we're doing first. Let's talk about this. Ooh, getting smooth. Feeling good. Feeling good, Lewis. Looking good, Mortimer, or something like that. I can't remember. That, not a great reference. All right, here we go. So, I come home. I drive home by myself I'm, you know, from the hospital. Wife's still up there in the newborn son. And the, the exterminator guy is here. And he's an older guy. He's, you know, in his mid-60s. At the time, he was in his mid-50s. Uh, I just talked to him today. He uh, he came back and he recognized me today. Oh, sorry, let's go back to that in a second. He saw me today and said, are you a new owner of this house? I said, no, we lived here for a while now. He's like, I used to be your, ter your exterminator. I was like, that's right. And that's what reminded me of this story. So I get there. I'm frazzled. I'm like, got a newborn. You know, I'm nervous. I'm a first-time father. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, it's scary, man. The scariest thing in the world is when you leave that hospital with that baby and there's no nurse with you. There's no grandparents with you. There's nobody else helping you. It's just you and your wife and the baby and you strap them in the car seat for the first time and you drive home for the first time. Driving with that brand new baby is like, oh, oh my God, please. And so you get home and you're like, what do we do now? What do we do now? Of course, you figure it all out as you go and it's day by day and all that good stuff. If you ever get you know overly anxious, which I have been getting more of lately, I feel like I've been more anxious, and I don't know why. I don't like it. But uh, so I get home. <laughs> this is a long story. I apologize. Uh, and the exterminator guy is there. His name is Olin, by the way. Great guy. And I start talking to him about how I'm all feeling all you know frazzled and nervous and worried and all this stuff. And he said to me, and just very simple, and he didn't even remember it when I asked him to do it. He said, well, at least you're established. And what that meant was, I've got a wonderful home here. I've got a wife, I've got a healthy child, you know, being taken care of at the hospital. I've got a, a circle of family and friends that can help us in our time of need. And I'm, I, I'm established. I don't need to worry so much. And that kind of, it was a simple thing. And the way I took it was, you're going to be okay, you know? And, I, and it was kind of like, I needed to hear that. And it stuck with me. I remembered it. And so I told him that today. He said, well, I don't really remember everything I say, but uh, yeah, he's, he was very nice about it. So yeah, anyway, I don't know. That's just a story. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to hear about uh, what y'all have gone through, any parents or anybody that, you know, any, any new, like, I remember when I, when I bought my first new used car. I've never bought a new car in my life. It's actually not a very smart thing to do to buy a brand new car because it immediately loses all its, <laughs> well, a ton of value. Anyway, I was younger and I finally had to buy a car for whatever reason. It was, you know, I had to like sign up and, and make, you know, loan payments and, you know, get an interest rate and all that stuff. And I remember driving away from there being like, oh my gosh, I owe $13,000 on this used Honda or whatever, you know? It's a scary time or you buy a house or any large thing. So any m sort of monumental occurrence in life is going to knock you back at least for a while emotionally. But that don't worry. Like if you're going through that right this second as you're hearing this and you're like, whoa, he's saying something. I don't know. It's just it's common to, the, to, to everybody and you will be OK. Just keep on going. Keep going. Don't give up. Don't give up. Figure it out in little chunks every day and then day by day. And then eventually... Those days will turn into weeks, turn into months, years, and you'll be able to look back and go, what was I so worried about? Yeah. Anyway, that's it. All right. That's the end of the shave and just about the end of the video.
Let's see how I feel. Let's see how I feel. How do you feel? All right, let's see. Let's get the problem areas from here to here. Up here. This is a nice little razor. Yeah, it's good. Didn't get any nicks. It was mild, but it didn't feel mild. Didn't feel like I had to do a lot of work to get it done. And I didn't feel the blade at all. And it's very lightweight. And it's cheap. Yeah, and vintage. I love that. 1960. So interesting. JFK was elected president the year this thing was purchased by somebody somewhere. And now here it is. See? What were you so worried about? All right, everybody. Cold water. Smooth shave. Good shave. Stick that back down in there. Magic towel comes up. Mm. I have to mow the yard this week, but I need to do it in the morning before it turns 106 degrees, which I kind of like. I kind of like getting out there and taking walks when it's that hot and just being sweaty and just being like, oh my gosh, it's 106. Chiseled face cryogen aftershave. This stuff's cold. Groomatorium, ultra mentholated. It's not my favorite scent, but I haven't used it in a long time, so I figured I'd try it out. Uh, chiseledface.com, there you go. It's in a cool little bottle, it's a beautiful little color. Mm, it doesn't burn, but it is very mentholated. So I just use a little bit, because I know that if I overdo it, kind of like the cold fusion, it makes my eyes water too much, and then I'm like just walking around for the next 20 minutes like this. Goofy. Beat the devil out of the brush. Bob Ross. Love ya. All right, well, that's it, everybody. I love you guys, too. I want to. I just want to stop and say that uh, every one of you is, is, is all right in my book. <laughs> so I, I hope you're having a good day. If you're having a bad day, hang in there. Hang in there, because we all have them. Just keep on going, all right? Keep going. We're going to make it through. It's going to be all right. All right, everybody. Have a great week. Let's shave again on Friday. You wanna? Okay. See you back here. Back in the, the old bathroom with Sinatra Lennon. See you. Bye. <laughs> that was a weird. Hmm. No, not, not a new catchphrase. <laughs>